This is a book review of a thousand comic books you must read. It's by Tony Isabella, who's produced hundreds and hundreds of comic books himself. Of course, it's a thousand comic books that he obviously thinks that are worth reading. Everyone else will come up with another thousand or two thousand or ten thousand. But it's a really good book and it's by Krauss Publications. And it came out in 2009. So I'm just going to quickly run this hard back. Not so many pages, probably about 300 odd. It's all in colour predominantly. And it's got an introduction, acknowledgements, and then it goes through the. And you've got, well, you've got it's a little thumbnail. Now, most are like a quarter of a page, some a third of the page. And you've got like the writer, the artist, a bit of a description, reasons why he's included it. And then, of course, goes on to the next one All American Comics number 16. First issue of, of course, Green Lantern. Then you've got the Red Spirit. Now it's predominantly American. There's there's a few few. It's uh, Tintin comes in here somewhere, and that's obviously French. And and I don't think I've seen any. There might be a few English ones, UK ones, UK English, not American English. Two Gun Kid, Wonder Woman. You go into the forties there, and I like the breakdown. The 40s, 50s, etc. That's quite good. Instead of doing it Golden Age, Silver Age. Really don't like that. Walt to Disney, Donald Duck, Kanga Comics, Millie the Model, Raggedy Ann and Andy. I quite like those ones, actually. I've got a few of those issues. Christmas Parade. I love Christmas comics. Girl Comics, Tomahawk Comics, Crime Suspense Stories, of course, into EC Comics. And you go into the fearful 50s, as it's here. Your Dreams, Strange World of Your Dreams, Jack Kirby and Mort Meskin, Journey into Mystery, or Atlas Comics. Hands of Zorro, and that's of course Dell. And it, like I say, it's got lots and lots of detail, all the sort of information about. I mean, it's very brief, maybe four or five lines, but it's still enough detail. And of course, the thing is, when you look for this book, you think, wow, I must go and check out. And you generally can find copies of this. Not all of them are slabbed, which uh, obviously lots of people love them slabbed, but personally, I love more tatty comics so uh, if I see this sort of thing you know like five pound or ten pounds or something, I think you know what I will go and get a copy of that might be falling to pieces might be completely horrible condition but they're still great to read now some of the uh, covers are a bit slightly pixelated some are very very sharp it's boy comics MD comics I love those the EC comics MD I love the uh, recent archive edition Dark Horse superb Jughead's Folly, you've got obviously Archie Comics, the yeah, Tintin one. Love Romances. Then you've got the Annuals, Fantastic Four, Annual Number One. And then you've got going to Marvel, obviously, into the 60s. You've got Fantastic Four 40. I love that one. With Daredevil and Doctor Doom. Bedlam at Baxter Building. Lobo, Dell. Dell brought out so many great comics. Sadly, they're quite a, not the easiest of comics to find. I love these ones. Mighty Comics Group. They brought out loads of uh, the Mighty Crusaders. I thoroughly enjoyed those. You used to get those in seaside towns. You'd sort of, during the summer holidays, you'd always come across. So I never had a consistent purchasing of those. But you used to love those ones. Flash Gordon, King's Features. I love that. Spectacular Spider-Man. Silver Surfer, number one. Vampirella. Some of these I, some of these comics I don't know. OG Wiz. Never seen that. Gold Key. Forever People. Shadow. Elf Quest, I love the Elf Quest series. Love that Rom, brilliant series. Hembeck, Hembeck was brilliant. Recently brought out a Hembeck uh, Marvel one. It's a really beautiful uh, collection of his work. Sergeant Rock, Johnny Quest, I love those. Zot, Demon, Prime, you Ultraverse Prime, Gerald Jones and Len Stras. Oh, can't say Zavisky. Probably said it completely wrong. I'm really absolutely terrible when it comes to saying artists' names or even writers' names. Geeksville, Daredevil, Beware the Daredevil. You know what? I've never bought that one. Tony Isabella. <laughs> anyway, I'm saying it's brilliant. Tony Daredevil issue one, one of the six. Oh. Oh. Savage Dragon. I love that. Savage Dragon, brilliant. That one's good. Selena's Big Score. I thoroughly enjoyed those ones. Fable, Spurb, Sergeant Rock. Now, I'm not so uh, a fan when it comes to the 90s, etc., all the comics. I bought certain titles, and I must admit, I didn't sort of spread widely to get lots and lots of different titles. So some of these I'm not familiar with. Birth of a Nation, I remember that one. B 
the Krigstein comics. I love that one. Now, that's actually um, hardback, which is unusual. So you've got a hardback in here. Uh, Pesopolis, I love that. Pesopolis 2, love those. Avengers of Superman, and so on. Just book after book. And lots of these things to go and explore. That's the thing that I like about these books. That's why it would be nice if there was a volume two or volume three, because it's always great to get people's Obviously, there's lots of websites now, websites where you've got people, got, but I generally do love books like this that you've just got. And I've got lots of ones like record ones as well, or books, thousand books to read, etc. etc. And they're fascinating. I mean, you might not agree with everyone, but they're it's a this is a really, really interesting book. I love it. So, a thousand comic books you must read by Tony Isabella.